it's worth anybody looking up on the internet the case of Oliver McGowan, who's a young boy. On admission to hospital, Oliver had been given antipsychotic medicines in the past and he'd always reacted badly to them. In fact, at one stage, he'd had a dystonic reaction to his, what's called an ocular gyro crisis, which is an extremely frightening thing. It's not fatal, but it must be horrific. You, your eyes move up in your head and you, you can't move. And that was a reaction to an antipsychotic. And he'd had other antipsychotics, which he said made him feel like there was flies buzzing around in his head. He never had a psychosis. Had what's called an advanced decision. He'd, he'd got a care, care plan that said, please don't give me antipsychotics, which they just put in a drawer. And on, it, on his way into hospital, he'd said in the ambulance, please don't give me antipsychotics. And they said, we'll look after you, we won't do it. This is awful, but a, a, he became ill, he was on the ventilator, his mother came in to see him one day after having said on the ward as well, please don't give me antipsychotics. And also it was written on his um, drug chart in red ink and his parents were totally ignored. But it's another case of the parents suddenly not being listened to. And the doctors, the state in a way, thinking we know better than these parents. He'd been given antipsychotics and he subsequently died. A very rare but fatal adverse reaction to antipsychotics.